was going good for you in that first or second quarter? Um, just me being aggressive. Uh, I mean, coming into the game, I knew that um, went down on big men, uh, I guess. And I just knew that, especially with Jimmy R2, I had to be a little extra aggressive, and uh, I had it going. Corey standing over Harden when he was on the ground. Oh, Corey was great. Uh, you need that type of guy on the team. Uh, you know, uh, that's why we've been trying to figure it out. You know, just you know, learning how to play with each other. You, you need that type of guy that's going to come out and be like, OK, I'm going to take out the best player on the other team. And I felt like he did a pretty good job. I mean, uh, James had 37 on 26 shots. so. I felt like he, he did a pretty good job on them tonight, and you need that type of guy that's just going to take one for the team and just fight and, uh, you know, do his best. You see, like, you were more content to let me, as a team, let James have his baskets and not let anybody else try to beat you. And, and once you got that defense going, you never let up on them. Just thinking about overall as a team, how you guys played against them and never never let up tonight. Um, our defense was uh, was great. Uh, especially in that third quarter, I think they only had 13 points, so did a pretty good job. Um, so we got to keep building on that and get better. But uh, it was a, uh, it was a good, it was good to see. Extra fire in this one, just because of what happened in the prior game against OKC. Um, yeah, uh, no, I mean, we want to win every game and, you know, this, we know that this stretch is really important, uh, and OKC was, uh, you know, was hurtful, uh, for a lot of reasons and, uh, we needed this one. You, you, and, Harden, you and Harden could both be in the MVP conversation at some point. Was there any, uh, extra motivation on your part, um, going up against a guy like that? Um, uh, no, I mean, uh, uh, I do whatever my team needs me to do, uh, and I score the ball, be the best defensive player in the league, and, uh, you know, um, be a playmaker, and, uh, you know, all I care about is winning, uh, and, uh, if MVP comes with it, great, but, uh, right now, we're looking to win a lot of games, and we're doing that. How's your back feeling? Uh, I stay, stay tight, but it's getting better. Uh, I've been every, every game. I've been feeling a little better. Uh, usually after the game, it's pretty tight, but I'm about to get some treatment and I'll be fine. There's a lot of debate um, about whether or not you should be playing as much as you are with the back. What's your reaction to that, and do you think it's overblown? I mean, that's it's just general soreness. I guess it's nothing. Uh, man, it's just tight. Everybody has that. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it, uh, and that's something I can play through. Um, I know there's really nothing on the line, um, but you know I don't. I don't feel like letting my teammates down, and I want to fight with them. And this trash is really important for us. Uh, we need as many wins as we can uh, get. So uh, you know, whatever I have to do, I do it for my team. Uh, Corey, uh, you took the charge, you took the lead defensively against a guy like James. Just talk about what you're trying to do, what you wanted to do, and how you were able to accomplish it tonight. Um, I just wanted to be aggressive in everything you got. I wanted to make it tough. So I wanted to be in front of him, stay in front of him, and make him shoot over the top. Because if he's not getting his teammates involved, we had a chance to win. And that's what happened tonight. He only had three assists, and that's a job well done. It seemed like as a whole, your focus was to just let him have his shots and not let anybody else get in there. Is that the strategy against a guy like him, carry him, let him be the load barrier, not let anybody else get involved? Yeah, of course. You know, you want him to you want to make him work for everything, try to get him tired, and not let other guys get involved. Because when he's going to the basket, throwing into the corner, they're making threes. That's how they win games. A few days ago, you were signed to a 10-day contract, and then today you're told that you're going to be starting and guarding James Harden. Just what was your reaction when Brett said um, that? I was happy. I get to play basketball. I've been sitting at home playing with my kid. <laughs> I've been playing superheroes every day, so I was really happy to get to play basketball. So I, I love – I'm a competitor. I love when I get to have a matchup like James Harden. That's great. It's, let's go. <laughs> When's the last time you've had the entire arena chanting your name in unison? I have no idea. It's happened a few times. Hey, I've been in the NBA for a while. I've had some good games. So. You know you're like a cult 
hero status now just for that, right? It's Philly, man. They, they hate you or love you, so I'm glad they're on my side right now. <laughs> there, there Corey, Corey, what went into your game preparation that you've been here for all of like five seconds and then you were able to jump in the way that you were tonight? Um, just be me. Um, what I do is I play hard, I bring energy, and I do whatever it takes to win games. You know, I got a guy like this, hey, make him go to the basket. He doesn't want to go finish against Joe Embiid. How does it feel to, to play the role of agitator against James Harden? Feels great. Hey, do whatever I got to do to get a win. You know, if it's take a charge, if it's deny him the ball, that's what I, that's what I did. The camera's got to tell you to chirp on the back and forth a little bit on the, on a foul line, I think, on the one, looking at one of the plays. And, when you get into a verbal just like that with him, how fun is something like that and <laughs> just try and get him off his game? That's great. That's, that's the whole point of basketball. If you're a competitor, you want to get a guy off his game. If it's make him take a shot he doesn't want to take or, hey, get in his head a little bit, it worked. You, you've, been on, you've been on some good teams. What, what, what is your initial impression of, of these guys? Um, um, it's great. I love these guys. You know, I fit right in. I feel, um, you know, we got everything. You know, you got a guy like Jimmy, a guy like Ben. You got this guy over here. Hey, everybody else, we just got to fit in. It's all about trying to get to the next level, and that's getting to the finals. Corey, how did you stay basketball ready while you waited for this opportunity? Um, work out. Hey, uh, that's all I do. I love basketball. No matter if I'm playing in the rec league or if I'm playing in the NBA. Hey, that's what I do, play basketball. Joe, even though you, you and James are also in different positions, but when you trade baskets like that back and forth on national TV, how, kind of, how fun of a matchup like that is when you guys are going back and forth like that? Um, it was fun. Uh, I mean, we beat them by 30, uh, so uh, that's really, it was really fun for us. I don't think it was fun for them, but uh, you know, he's a great player. Uh, obviously, he can do a lot of stuff on the court. Uh, have a lot of respect for him, but uh, you know, the way they play, uh, you know, you just got to key on him and make sure that, uh, you know, you got guys like Cole that's going to get into him and uh, get him tired and, you know, he, he plays a huge role, especially, uh, you know, if the game was closed and we were getting to, I don't know, four quarter, uh, you know, and then that's where you tired him a lot and uh, that's what he did and, you know, you just got to keep doing it. But it's fun. I love playing against, you know, guys that, you guys might sit out there all better than me, so just to prove you guys that no, they're not, but uh, it's fun to me. Um, I mean, I was just walking back to my basket, and I think it pushed my leg, and naturally, uh, I'm gonna react, and I did, and we both got technical fouls, and we move on, but it's just nothing, nothing going on, and it was just, it was just to me. I'm having fun. I'm always having fun, and uh, a lot of guys take it seriously, uh, especially when it comes to that. Uh, you know, we just had one guy uh, last game that was acting crazy, uh, but uh, it's fun to me. I love it. Thank you. Corey, you ever face guard somebody from 80 feet while they're sitting down before? A lot of times. Coach said, the only way I was going to play if I played defense.